How is um, Taman in double figures the last two games? How is his, I don't know, confidence offensively uh, kind of shown recently? Well, he should feel great about the way he's been playing and how he's continued to progress. Um, you know, specifically two games ago, you know, their ball pressure was was terrific. And one way to kind of attack that is by, by playing downhill in the middle third of the floor off some ball screens and some drives. And Tamo was fantastic getting in there, not only to score and make plays for his teammates, uh, but also hit bigs on rolls and post ups and things. And then, you know, that turned into him scoring the ball well. Same thing in a different way happened the other night because they would get spread out at times and, and he was able to drive the ball downhill and make plays. And, you know, then he did a great job in the second half getting his feet set and knocking down a, you know, a big three. So, you know, Taman works extremely hard. Uh, he's a guy that, you know, we talk about a lot, a lot of maturity, great court demeanor. Um, you know, those guys, I've always, you know, over time, you believe in the guys that do the work every day. And, and Taman's a, a tremendous worker, tremendous character guy. So it's great to see him have success. What do you see out of St. John's, who obviously plays at a faster pace than they uh, maybe have in the recent past anyway? Yeah, I mean, last year, this year, uh, they're, they probably have the fastest pace, or they don't probably. The numbers say they do. What does that mean? Offensively, they, um, they fly it at you. They want live ball turnovers. They want to they want long rebounds, they want quick shots, and they want to go and they want to turn it into points. And they do that better literally than any team in the country in terms of getting the shot that they want fast in transition. If defensively, if they didn't press, which they do every single possession because that slows the tempo and the pace of the game down a bit, you know, their pace on both sides would be as fast or faster than anyone. So that means we got to do a great job taking care of the ball. That means we got to do a great job uh, attacking the paint. It means we have to do a great job sprinting back on defense uh, and, and do a great job in the offensive boards because when we're getting the offensive rebound, it doesn't allow them that opportunity to run. When you think about Taman off the court, just outside of his play, his demeanor seems to be anything but a true freshman. You kind of forget he's a true freshman. How impressive, how rare is that for a young guy to kind of have that characteristic, that attitude? Yeah, it's very rare. Um, because what happens when you come to college is you, your work habits, everybody works hard, and then you get here and you realize it's the cumulative of every single day, uh, you know, being in that process and how much it takes. And sometimes with guys, it can break their spirit a little bit, or it can the things that they're feeling physically can impact how they look and play mentally. Uh, Taman's got tremendous mental toughness. Uh, he's been through adversity with some injuries and knows how to battle through being hurt, um, being injured, coming back from an injury, which also helps him, I think, from game to game to turn things around quickly. Um, but I think it all goes back to his character and what an awesome young man he is because, you know, when you get in those tough moments, if you have that real character, you rely on that. And his confidence and his court demeanor are reflective of that character.